So, uh, Ruby, it's a show, um, it's a show I happen to, uh, I like it. I, I, I like it, okay? You know what? I like, I like it. It's a good show, and, uh, you know, it, it's made by Rooster Teeth. You know, the guys did Red vs. Blue. You know, you know that show with the, the Halo, you know? It, it got so popular that they actually, they actually included some, um, some little Easter eggs in, in the actual Halo games, you know? Hey, open up! Password, please! You gotta be kidding me! What password? The password so we don't open the door for Bruce. Do I sound like a brute to you? Well, you could be held prisoner by Bruce. If I was held prisoner by Brutes and knew the password, then the Brutes could just force me to tell you the password and you'd open the door for them. So that's that's the thing, you know, they decided, hey, we're, we're gonna do an anime, you know? Monty Ohm, he was, uh, he one day he came and he was just kind of spouting out a bunch of colors and they were like, alright, go to bed, Monty. And he came back and he's like, no, you don't understand. This is, uh, this, this is, these aren't colors, these are a team. This, this is an anime team. And we're gonna do this. And the show is it's really cool, you know, it, it got off to a rocky start with some of the animations and, um, but it was an independent company, you know, what, what do you expect? Uh, as it went on, it, you know, the, the, the animation got better, uh, you know, the, the fight choreography was always amazing and only, you know, improved with time. The story is amazing. It's just an, it's an awesome show. And, you know, there's no really, there's no reason, you know, there's a couple, you know, villain problems that some people see, but, you know, all in all, there's really no reason for someone to, you know, hate this show, especially after watching, you know, some of the later seasons, when it gets better and better, unless, you know, anime isn't your, your cup of tea, in which case, you know, you don't, you don't really have to like this show, but if it is your cup of tea, there's, there's really no reason uh, why you should hate the show. But communities, fandoms, they always seem to have a way of, of ruining really good shows to the public's opinion. Take Rick and Morty, for example. Uh, Rick and Morty is, you know, it's a really, you know, good show, well animated, has an interesting style, has some stuff to say about nihilism and existentialism and, you know, it's, it's, it's funny. It's, it's funny, okay? It's, just, it's, a, it's funny, guys. It's, it's a funny show. All right, but everyone's got to act like if they watch Rick and Morty, they're just like the smartest people on on the earth. When they actually, they do stuff like like this. I want sexual sauce. Where's my sexual sauce? I'm Kendall Rick. What below the dog dog? I'm Kendall Rick. I don't. I don't. I don't know how intelligent that is. That's, <clears throat> but anyway, uh, so so what's the Ruby fandom's problem? Well, um, it's it's actually a, a larger problem, and it, it's shipping. Okay, shipping. Now I, I don't know about you, but uh, I I I hate shipping. I hate it. Okay, because people take it too far. Now, you know, I know a lot of people who actually, you know, they don't, they, they don't mind a good, a good wholesome ship, I guess, you know, and, you know, more, more power to you, but this has got, look, okay, I'm going to show you, this is like a list of colorful names that have been given to these ships, I, I almost hate saying that word, okay, so these are like, they just name all the, oh, what the, Okay, no, you can't, in, that is, they are sisters, that's weird, okay, that's, no, there, oh, there is actually uh, quite a few incestual si ships in here, and a lot of ships were, Ruby is shipped with other people, you, Ruby is 16 in the first season of Ruby, it's freaking creepy, okay, stop, stop it. And what? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, Maximize. But anyway, uh, yeah, there's weird, creepy ships about underage girls and sisters, and yeah, it's freaking weird. Okay, now that's enough to like freaking. If someone you know is researching the show online. Because they're thinking about getting into it, and all they see is is this. They're gonna be like, "Uh, how about no? 
because uh, I'm not a freaking weirdo. And, uh, yeah, I don't want to be freaking weird. You know what? Anime's awesome, okay? Guys, we have enough people thinking anime's freaking weird. Okay, it's just a tangent for a second. Okay, if you like The Walking Dead, watch, watch a couple episodes of Attack on Titan, okay? It's freaking cool, all right? It's a cool show. Except the zombies, they're fucking as tall as buildings, okay? As tall as buildings. That's awesome. Just, just give it a watch. It's awesome, okay? Give anime a chance, okay? Don't let communities of these shows ruin shows for you, okay? Anime is awesome. But listen, okay? This needs to stop because not only is it is it weird and, and wrong on so many levels, but people just take this too far because if someone if, if someone says, hey, uh, just gonna say, uh, not not a huge fan of your ship. I don't I don't really like your ship. It's it's not it's not seaworthy, all right. I just I'm kindly telling you that you're you're gonna have some some sailing problems today if you if with that with that ship you got there. You, you need a new one. What? How dare you insult my ship? It is the ultimate ship. I hate you. I will come to your house and murder your family. And you you may think I'm exa exaggerating, but. But I'm not. I'm not actually exag exaggerating at all. That that actually uh, it actually happens because uh, people are are crazy. In fact, uh, I'm gonna get like so many of the details of the situation wrong. But uh, there's a there's an art there's a there's a convention. You know, it's it's uh, it's one of those like you know cons, except it's called RTX, and basically it's uh, where uh, the the Rooster Teeth Company they they you know they made the show. They they basically uh, they they do a con. And and it's in Texas, and it's it's pretty cool. You know, you got the red versus blues, and and your camp camps, and uh, and and your ruby. Mostly uh, a lot of a lot of ruby has you know it's been pretty popular. And uh, somebody was like, hey, you know uh, that bumblebee, the bumblebee ship, which is which is Blake and Yang. Which I okay, you know Blake and Yang, they they are shown on screen. And and they and they dance with each other at one point, and I guess okay, it's not it's not too far fetched to to think they they might be a thing, okay? Like like for instance, I don't really mind ships when it it could be a thing, you know? Like uh, there was a there was a time uh, when I was watching uh, Avatar, the the Last Airbender, when I thought uh, Zuko and Katara, you know, they they might it might be a thing, you know, because there was like kind of some hints on screen, you know. So I don't really mind it then, but yeah, but but what happened was there was a song on um, I think it was on the season three or four um, on the on the soundtrack album. There was a song that was like Bumblebee, but without the vowels or something like that. And it was just kind of the name of a song, but everyone was like, "Holy shit! They must have known that we named this fanship Bumblebee, and they know about it. So they made a song as a little hint." A secret hint of foreshadowing, and they asked the the voice actor, and she was like, "Uh, and I don't, I don't, I don't really think so. I, I mean, I'm not for sure, but I don't really think that's that's the way the show's going." But uh, and, and they even and, and she even said she liked the ship. Okay, keep that in mind. I I don't really. I mean, like I said, I I don't mind this ship. I mean, because it, it might, you know, it, it's like I don't mind. People shipping Pierre and Jean because it it you know that was a th you know a thing that was you know very strongly hinted at Jean, but uh but yeah, uh so these people just freaking sending hate mail to the voice actor because they she just offhandedly said that she she didn't really she didn't think the song was about the ship. Just stop it, okay? Stop. And and definitely stop this, okay? Because no, Transformers, Beast Beast Wars does not need this. On uh, no, it does not need to be associated with this. Thanks for watching. What did you think of this video? I I thought it was pretty good myself. I just kind of uh, decided to just be a little more natural and just kind of uh, just ramble about a thing. Um, uh, that, I, that I was kind of passionate about. Um, I'm gonna do, be doing some more videos in the in the future with with more scripts, so I won't be saying uh and, and like and.
bunch of filler words. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Comment below, give it a like, give it a subscribe, and uh, good luck and fortune will come to you. But if not, if you don't share this video with 10 of your friends, then oh boy.